Hello everyone, uh, today we will be solving an example about the corporate income tax computation. Uh, in this example, uh, we have a company and we know some financial information about that company related to the previous year and we need to compute the income statement, we need to compute the tax liability of that company and the best way to do it is to prepare an income statement as we know the income statement uh, tells us about the net income of the corporation but along the way we will be able to compute the tax li liability of this corporation as well so uh, in the best way to deal with a problem like this is to understand the problem first of all and I want you guys to read this problem carefully and you will see that we are given very valuable information about this company in, the, in this given text and I will go ahead and uh, underline some of the keywords that will be very important in solving this problem this example okay so as you can see uh, the very first keyword will be sales here the, the company had four million dollars of sales in the previous year as we are preparing an income statement for the previous year as you know the other keywords that I realize is the combined cost of goods sold so the cost of goods sold and the operating expenses these are also very important so these will be items in the income statements of our corporation and we also see the interest expense which we need to deduct as you remember if there's a cost or an expense we need to make a deduction uh, like the operating expenses or the cost of goods sold these will all be deducted from the sales okay from our sales all right and here's another additional source of income which is dividend income okay so we will be adding this we won't be subtracting this we will be adding this item and what else well we had some stock sale right so we had there was some stock that was sold so there's a stock sale which is a capital gain as we know and besides we also had some land sale which is also a uh, capital gain in this case it's a uh, short-term capital gain okay so it's time to prepare an income statement I already did it for this com uh, for this company and I nicely uh, placed it in, uh, in in an income statement and here it goes so I will replace the question with my uh, income statement so let me just make it a little bit bigger okay so that everybody can um, focus on <coughs> on the problem okay here we go whoops okay so w we earlier mentioned that the company had four million dollars of sales right so I I did put this information on my income statement so uh, let me go back to the text and you realize we had sales of four million dollars and that's exactly what I did four million dollars of sale I also mentioned that the combined cost of goods sold and operating expenses were 3.2 million dollars and I did that this by subtracting it from the sales okay so you can we can easily see that so sales minus cost of goods sold will give us the operating income of eight hundred thousand dollars as you can see I also did place a dollar sign only for sales the first line and I will not put the dollar sign all the way until I get my net income which in which case I put my dollar sign again this is a dollar sign yeah it's not nicely written but this is a dollar sign okay uh, so now that I have my operating income uh, the next uh, I realize there is some interest expense that I have to deal with and I have to deduct it right because it's an expense that should be subtracted from the total and another item is the dividend income for the dividend income there's a small trick here uh, the company had an additional income a dividend income of five thousand dollars from the stock that we hold uh, but uh, the tax law tells us that we can have an exclusion on that so we can have a 70 percent exclusion 70 percent of five thousand dollars is thirty five hundred dollars 
So the difference will be $1,500. This is what I will reflect on my income statement. You see, I separately computed the net dividend income and I just put the $1,500 uh, in the space that I really put my numbers that I will this this is the important column here so I make my computation about the net dividend income separately here okay so now it's time to compute the ordinary income so so far we have eight hundred thousand dollars operating income I don't have to worry with the numbers above the first line here so we have eight hundred thousand dollars of operating income an interest expense of three hundred thousand and fifteen hundred dollars of net dividend income so these three items they add up to five hundred and one thousand five hundred dollars okay so we also mentioned there are some capital gains right the company sold some uh, stocks but also it sold some land and we need to deal with it separately so we will be computing the capital gains and losses separately which I already did in fact uh, I go down a little bit and I show my computation for you here so first we had some uh, stock sale uh, the revenue that we generated from the stock sale is we 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 sold 1000 stocks each one we sold it for $100 so which makes gives us $100,000 of revenue from the stock sale and the cost initially it did cost us $80,000 $80 per share so since we sold 1000 shares the total cost was initially $80,000 so we need a net profit of $20,000 from our stock sale. Second, we had also a land sale. The revenue the, from the sale, we generated $55,000 of revenue, and it, it originally cost us $45,000, so we generated $10,000 of net profit from the land sale. The total combined uh, capital gain is $20,000 plus $10,000, which is $30,000, and this is exactly what I put in my income statement and here you go thirty thousand dollars okay so our capital gain is thirty thousand dollars if it was a loss in fact you wouldn't reflect it in the income statement if there's a gain you put it you place it if there's a loss we will do something special which i will show you in our next example but in this example we have a gain and we reflect it in our income statement so so far our taxable income totals to five hundred and one thousand dollars five hundred plus thirty thousand dollars is five hundred and thirty one thousand dollars and five hundred dollars okay so now that we know our taxable income it's time to compute our tax liability which i already also did it for you guys so here is our tax liability uh, for the first fifty thousand dollars of our income we pay fifteen percent tax uh, so seventy five hundred dollars here we all for the next $25,000 of our income between $50,000 and $75,000, we pay 25% tax, which gives us $6,250. And all the remaining of our income from $75,000 to $531,500, we pay 34% tax because it's in that bracket. We pay $155,210 for that portion of our income. And since our income exceeds $100,000, we need to pay a surtax. Or uh, for our income between these two numbers, between $335,000 and $100,000, we pay a 5% additional tax, which gives us this number. We all add all of our tax liability, and we see our tax liability, annual tax liability is $180,000. $710, which was actually the question that we were trying to answer, right? So we go back to our uh, income statement and we copy that number, $180,710. So actually, let's go ahead and since we, we came that far, even though the question is not asking that information, let's compute our net income. And our net income is the difference between our taxable income and the tax that we owe, this is the federal income tax that we owe to the federal government. So the difference is $350,790. So this is our net profit for the year. And that will be the end of our first example. So thank you for listening and you can go ahead and watch our second example too. Bye-bye.